Hey, what's going on? Um, today I'm going to walk you through real quick how to find your merchant ID on Amazon. Um, you might also hear this called as a seller ID, uh, basically merchant ID, seller ID, they're the same thing. Uh, merchant token is different, but if someone says merchant ID or seller ID, um, yeah, it's the same thing. So I'm going to walk you through how to find it. Um, first of all, go to a product listing where you're selling on and you're going to find where it says sold by and then your seller name. So say this is our seller, your favorite t-shirts. Uh, we're going to click there to the seller ratings page. And then from here you click, uh, your favorite t-shirt storefront or, you know, whatever your seller name storefront, we're going to click that link there. And then if we look up in the URL, um, that's going to have your merchant ID in there. Um, so just here where it says ME equals then a bunch of um, letters and numbers, that's your merchant ID. So right there, that highlighted part, that's your merchant ID. Now, uh, one reason why you need your merchant ID or one reason it is useful is um, say you're you're selling with a bunch of diff bunch of other sellers on the same listing um, and say you don't have the buy box or no one has the buy box and you want to send people to buy from your um, your seller your storefront rather than um, buy from another seller so um, what you can do is you can send people a link um, with your merchant ID in it and uh, that way, when they click the link in the buy box, they will buy from you. They won't buy from anyone else, which is uh, super valuable if you're competing with other sellers. So going back to our, our listing here, you'll see the, the seller that we used for an example here um, is not in the buy box. They're in one of the other sellers. Uh, someone else is in the buy box here, Galactic Toys and Games. Um, so what we're going to do, we've copied our merchant ID and then right at the end of the URL, click and M equals and uh, paste out merchant ID. So that's what we have added in there right at the end of the URL. Now if we reload the page, there you go, it says uh, ships from and sold by the merchant ID that we added. Um, so yeah, if you're not in the buy box, um, you can use this really quick little hack and, um, yeah, basically anyone, anyone you send through this URL, um, you will appear on the buy box. So that's a really helpful way to, uh, boost your sales if you're, yeah, competing with other sellers. I hope that was helpful and let me know in the comments if you have any trouble.